Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tolalipop and today we have another exciting update to the Trek Marlin lineup for 2023. And this time we're going to be focusing on the 2023 Trek Marlin 7 Gen 3. Now if you haven't seen my most recent video on the 2023 Trek Marlin 6, definitely check that out as well since I explain a lot of details about the new Marlin lineup there. And to make this video shorter, I'm just going to skim over those details and focus on the actual changes to the Marlin 7. I'll go over every single detail that has been upgraded for the Marlin 7 Gen 3, and I'll complete this table to highlight all of those changes in one place. So stick around to see these updates, and please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you can get notified when I upload new videos on these awesome bikes. Now, for a brief background, the Marlins are designed as beginner mountain bikes, but they can also be used as durable commuter bikes, since the frames on these models do have mounts for a kickstand and for a rear rack. The Marlin 7 is one of the higher end Marlins available, sitting right below the top end Marlin 8. For this comparison video, I'm only going to talk about the parts on this bike that have been updated for the new Marlin 7, so if I do not discuss a specific component in this video like the suspension fork or the drivetrain, it means that that part is the exact same one found on the previous Marlin 7, otherwise known as the Marlin 7 Gen 2. But enough of the background, let's start off this comparison by glancing over that brand new Trek Marlin frame, which is for sure the biggest upgrade for the 2023 Marlins. I covered this in much more detail in my Marlin 6 video mentioned before, but I will quickly restate that both the old and new frames use alpha silver aluminum from Trek and have internal routing. However, the new frame now has routing for an internal dropper post as well, which is a feature that people were always asking for on these bikes, so I'm happy that Trek listened to that. Another main difference is that the new frame now uses this through skew axle in the rear to hold the rear wheel in place, and this is an improvement over the previous Marlins that used quick release axles, since the through skew is more stable and ensures that the back wheel is centered in the bike. The new frame also comes with a nicer chainstay protector to prevent chain damage to the frame, but overall the biggest upgrade is to the geometry numbers. I'll put the main geometry figures on the screen right now so you can see the updates, but essentially the new Marlin frame is going to provide much more confidence while riding downhill, and it will still put you in a good enough seating position to climb uphill efficiently. I'll show the full geometry numbers on the screen right now as well, but it is an overall improvement and I am happy with these changes. Alright, but for the Marlin 7 specifically, we do have some important updates, starting with the price. The Marlin 7 Gen 2 is currently priced at $1,030 US dollars, but is on sale for $900, and the Marlin 7 Gen 3 is currently $1,000. Besides that, we of course have some very, very important updates to the colors offered on the Marlin 7. <laughs> So the previous generation comes in three different colors, including a marigold to radioactive red fade, a matte nautical navy color with matte anthracite accents, and finally the gloss Miami green. Now the new bike replaces all three of these colors with three new ones, including an awesome teal to nautical navy fade color, which is actually the same color that was previously on the 2021 Trek Slash 8. And then we have the color azure, which is also on the Marlin 5. And lastly, the more subtle galactic gray color. Okay, next, let's talk about some actual components. I'm going to get these smaller updates out of the way first, so for the suspension fork, it is the exact same RockShox Judy from the previous Marlin, but the small and extra small frame sizes will no longer have 80 millimeters of suspension travel. Instead, they will have 100 millimeters of travel, just like the other frame sizes. The hubs are also the same, but the rear hub just uses that through skew I mentioned earlier, instead of the quick release axle. And the handlebar is the same model, but uh, there is an update to the width in some sizes, so it is now 750 millimeters wide in most sizes, which will definitely provide some added control over the bike. And it now has a 15 millimeter rise in most sizes, which will provide a more comfortable upright seating position. Next, the rims are technically the same as well if your Marlin has Bontrago Covey rims. However, the 2021 Marlin 7 did use Bontrago connection rims, so I'll throw up the differences between those rims on the screen right now. Uh, the new Covey rims are definitely better since they are lighter, stronger, and are tubeless ready, so that's an upgrade for sure. And while we're here, let's talk about a bigger change, which is to the tires. The Marlin 7 Gen 2 uses Bontrager XR2 comp tires that are 30 TPI and 29 by 2.2 inches wide in most sizes. 
the new bike uses a brand new line of Bontrager XT3 tires, and these are the XT3 comp tires, which are also 30 TPI, but they are wider at 29 by 2.4 inches wide for extra stability. And the final component change we have is to the stem, which is actually the same model stem, but the bikes just use different stem lengths and different sizes. And you can see that the new bike uses shorter stems overall, which helps keep an upright seating position while mountain biking. And finally, Trek does have the official weights of these bikes listed on their website. So in a size medium for both, the new Gen 3 Marlin 7 weighs 2.5 pounds more than the Gen 2 actually. And that's a pretty significant amount here. Once again, most likely due to that heavier frame. But yeah, that is something to note. And those are all the updates and changes to the Trek Marlin 7 for the Gen 3 bike. Here's that completed table to highlight all the specifics, but for my thoughts, this bike hasn't really received many upgrades at all besides the frame, uh, but the little upgrades and changes they did do on this bike definitely make it better instead of worse, so I won't complain too much. Overall, the Marlin 7 is still a great bike, and this new one in my opinion looks amazing and will perform well on the trail. I'll give more of my thoughts on these bikes when I make my ultimate 2023 Marlin comparison video, but for now I hope this video helped you out, and I hope each and every one of you watching has a great day today. Uh, I'll see you guys next time with the new Marlin 8 video, but for now, remember to keep biking.